So I thought I might draw this out since you appreciate drawings and pens and whatnot. Um, this is this is you on the surface of the earth, right? Just hanging out. Um, and this could be a storm cloud. And maybe there's some lightning happening, right? Oh no, the air, it's like getting supercharged and heated up in a fraction of a second. And it explodes outward. And that's thunder. That noise is thunder, right? And that storm could be happening in, like, in a cloud that's right here. Or like even lower, like right here. Be careful. Or that cloud could be way up here. Um, and it kind of doesn't look that different to you because you're just like a little person on this big old planet looking at the big old sky, right? So when the thunder uh, kind of happens, it's like in the shape of a shock wave. That's like a... Like that. So it's um, if I were to draw it, it would be... Whoosh, kind of shape and it just goes down from there um all shock waves kind of take that shape so like a supersonic jet whip cracks but that's that's not what you need here what's important to know is that um yeah the higher frequency noises from this because this contains like so many frequencies like all of the frequencies are in this shock wave noise but the higher ones dissipate faster and they dissipate pretty quickly over time. So like, it'll start out like, oh my God, so much noise, so much noise, so much noise, so much noise. And then like the farther you get, it gets kind of spaced out, spaced out far away until eventually like you might just hear kind of a boom. So that's why they say you can figure out how close the lightning is to you by counting how many seconds till you hear the thunder because it's a pretty accurate predictor. You can see the light flash from a lot of places, but you might not be able to hear the thunder as quickly. Um, another fun thing you might not know is, so when you hear the clap, that means you're very close because you're still getting those high frequencies. Um, but when you hear the, the kind of a boom sound, maybe a little bit farther away. Sometimes though, that lightning will happen just inside the storm cloud or super, 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 super far away. Like maybe like on the other side of the planet. Oh no, so far, so far, so far. In which case you might just hear a very, very low rumble noise or nothing at all. Because that lightning flash was in a cloud like five to 10 miles up in the air. So you hear nothing. And you ask me why about it on Discord. <laughs>